welcome to gc ready technologies advantage of manual testing see i think all of you familiar with software testing software testing can be done in two ways one is uh, traditional manual testing another is automation testing see software testing was established as a separate activity in 1980s nearly 40 years back see software testing can be done in two ways one is manual testing another is automation testing automation testing is popular one advanced one trending topic but manual testing never die manual testing is ever green see what is manual testing testing computer software manually uh, without using any test tool or test script what is automation testing testing computer software using any test tool or test script say <coughs> in manual testing <coughs> observe the manual testing process deriving test scenarios uh, first before that understanding and analyzing test requirements deriving test scenarios documenting test cases and collecting test data next executing test cases rip uh, analyzing test results and reporting defects next tracking defects and conducting change related testing means re and regression testing next regression cycle 1 cycle 2 cycle 3 at the end final regression next last activity test closure activities see maintaining test resources for future see these are the important activities in manual testing okay see what are the advantages see so many disadvantages or drawbacks are there for manual testing <clears throat> it is time consuming uh, expensive like uh, things are there uh, expensive tools are so expensive uh, major uh, drawback of manual testing is time consuming okay and less accuracy also but so many advantages also there so observe the first advantage advantages of manual testing manual testing will never die it is ever green see no environment limitations see irrespective of the aut aut stands for application under test irrespective of the application environment we can use manual testing if it is automation testing so many environment limitations so many limitations for example selenium supports web application testing only we can't use selenium for desktop application testing or mobile application testing next to uft unified functional testing formerly qtp uft supports desktop application testing and web application testing but it supports software testing on ms windows operating environment only it doesn't support linux environment if it is manual testing irrespective of the application environment uh, whether it is windows operating environment or unix or unix flavors linux solaris uh, macintosh etc or our desktop software applications web applications mobile software applications you can conduct manual testing see this is the primary advantage no environment limitations for manual testing next no programming no programming is required say already i told in manual testing understanding analyzing documenting executing reporting etc things no programming see documentation knowledge is required analyzing knowledge is required 
thinking, reasoning, knowledge are required, but no programming. And one more thing, manual testing is not a technology. Manual testing is not a software. Manual testing is a methodology. It is a process. Vendor neutral topic. No vendor for this one. For example, UFT, formerly QTP, vendor tool, or you can say commercial tool. Microsoft Windows, vendor is Microsoft. Uh, some open source software also there. Selenium is open source. Unix is open source, etc. But uh, in software testing, manual testing is vendor neutral topic. And it is not technology, means it is not a, it is not a software, it is a methodology or you can say process, theoretical process. Okay, uh, no programming is required. See, for automation testing, especially for functional test automation uh, using Selenium or RFT or UFT or test complete, any popular tool, programming knowledge is required. For example, Selenium, uh, you have to use uh, Java or Python or any supported language. UFT, VB script, like uh, programming knowledge is required for automation testing. Next, uh, for performance test tool, little bit programming knowledge enough, only syntax rules enough. But for manual testing, no programming knowledge. Next, third one. It is not a sequence. Recommendable for dynamically changing GUI designs. Say, suppose if the user interface of the application is changing dynamically, then test automation is not recommendable. If it is manual testing, you can easily test the application. Suppose if it is automation testing, modifications, in, in test cases, automation test cases are uh, difficult. Next, recommendable for usability testing. See, we have several types of testing. Functional testing, performance testing, security testing, usability testing, reliability testing, localization testing, internationalization testing, etc. Say, for example, functional testing. Functional testing can be done in both the ways, uh, manual testing as well as automation testing. Suppose UFT supports uh, web application uh, functional testing, uh, desktop application functional testing also. Selenium supports web application functional testing. See, functional testing can be done in both the ways. One is manual testing, another is automation testing. Next, performance testing. Uh, manual testing is impractical. Suppose if you want to apply 5,000 users load on, uh, on your application, that is impractical in manual testing. Organizing 5,000 missions and 5,000 test engineers and applying concurrent load is uh, impractical. If it is automation tool, uh, you can create 5,000 virtual users and you can apply. Okay. For performance testing, manual testing is impractical. For usability testing, automation testing is impractical. Manual testing is recommendable. Why? Human users only can judge the look and feel aspects of the system. See, we cannot check the user friendliness of the system using test tools. Test tool is software. Okay. Next, manual testing allows human observation, which may be more useful to find potential defects. See, in manual testing, user or tester interacts more with the AUT. AUT stands for application under test. Then it is easy to find defects and the tester can provide suggestions to the development team. Next, several limitations in automation testing. Uh, before discussing this one, uh, one of the uh, most important concept of manual testing is today, see nowadays also most of the companies, nearly 90% of the IT companies are using 
manual testing only for first cycle of execution second cycle onwards means for regression testing they may use automation tools especially for functional testing see so uh, conclusion still most of the companies are using manual testing for first cycle of execution so manual testing is important uh, next last one several limitations in automation testing suppose uh, if it is captcha field captcha captcha means verification code nowadays most of the uh, public web applications financial applications are using captcha fields captcha means verification code see captcha value is dynamic see if you want to automate captcha it is difficult actually automating captcha is uh, illegal also see if it is manual testing you can read the captcha means you can read the dynamic value and enter the value manual testing is possible but automation testing automating captcha field is impractical next uh, suppose touch screen functionality in automation automating touch screen functionality is impractical in manual testing it is possible next uh, nowadays some financial applications uh, using uh, otp uh, for security otp one time password see automating one time password uh feature also one time password functionality also impractical why one time password is dynamic if it is manual testing you can uh read the uh one time password and type so these are the important advantages of manual testing and one more thing if you want say uh, nowadays manual testing is not enough for getting job apart from manual testing learn automation testing then you can get uh, job easily and you can survive in your job uh, job uh, job roles and you will have better career in in this uh, software testing thank you